The telescope captured the object changing its trajectory in an unnatural manner, meaning it must be some sort of extraterrestrial life. The James Webb Space Telescope just spotted something moving through space, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen. It's not a comet, not a planet, and not a star. It drifts with purpose, pulses with strange rhythms, and defies the laws of physics. Scientists say it might not even be from our universe. Is it alive, built, or something else entirely? What Webb found could change how we see the cosmos forever. And this is just the beginning, an object that shouldn't exist. It started as routine. The James Webb Space Telescope was running a scan through a quiet patch of sky a calibration field astronomers often use for testing. This particular region, located in the Sculptor Galaxy Group, is well-known, uneventful, and ideal for checking instrument stability. But during that check, something unexpected happened. A single shape moved just slightly across the background. First, it looked like noise, or maybe a stray asteroid. But when the data came back clean, that flicker turned into a headline. This wasn't a typical moving object. It didn't match anything listed in asteroid or satellite catalogs. Webb's infrared data showed something drifting slowly but consistently across the frame. The motion wasn't erratic, but it wasn't orbital either. It moved not like a comet, not like a rock. It was steady, directed, and it wasn't random. The anomaly showed up again in a second frame, then again, it was real. In astrophysics, you don't expect surprises in test fields, said Dr. Lena Ward from ESA. That's what made this so alarming. The team had double-checked every system. Could it have been a lens flare? A software glitch? A cosmic ray? No, the signal came from outside the instrument, consistent across multiple sensors and wavelengths. What they'd found wasn't an error. It was something new. Even more confusing was its behavior. This object had no tail like a comet, no glow like a star, and no structural light like a galaxy. It looked like a moving void, a piece of sky itself sliding out of place. But strangest of all, it wasn't just dark. It was surrounded by a faint structured corona of twisted light. The area around the object bent and shifted, as if space itself was reacting. Yet the object itself gave off no visible light, no heat signature, and no gravitational lensing that matched any known model. It didn't act like a black hole or a brown dwarf or any stellar remnant. It moved on its own, and it didn't belong to anything we've ever cataloged. Not every new discovery fits the drawer you have prepared for it, said Dr. Nadia Singh, astrophysicist at Caltech. When something moves through space, scientists can usually classify it within minutes. But this object refused to play by the rules. It drifted with purpose, yet didn't follow gravity. It absorbed light, but not like a star, and it had no identity in any archive. As researchers dug deeper, one thing became clear. This wasn't just unknown. It was completely unexplainable. Not a star, not a galaxy. The first rule of identifying space objects is checking their light. Everything in the universe glows in some way. Stars, planets, even asteroids reflect or emit light in familiar patterns. But this object didn't. It wasn't glowing. It was consuming the light around it. Webb's infrared cameras caught an eerie silhouette, like a hole cut out of the sky. Around the edges, a shimmer. Inside, nothing. This wasn't just dark, it was void-like. Astronomers thought maybe it was a compact object, like a black hole. But black holes have a gravitational effect. You can see them by how they pull on nearby stars or by the hot material they absorb and radiate as X-rays. This object did neither. There was no evidence of mass near it, no bending of nearby orbits, and no heat from falling gas. It simply moved silently across open space. It's the absence of usual behavior that makes it so strange, said Dr. Pavel Lin, a cosmologist at MIT. Next, they considered a galaxy. Some galaxies are faint or distorted, but all galaxies, no matter how weird, have structure. Star populations, emissions, shape, motion. This object had none of that. No spiral arms, no central bulge, no consistent radiation profile. 
It was geometric, but shapeless, amorphous, but seemingly organized, like a piece of machinery torn from its blueprint. Webb's instruments suggested it was large, larger than any comet or asteroid, but it didn't behave like something formed through natural collapse or accretion. Webb also measured the light behind the object, and that's when another twist emerged. The starlight in the background wasn't bending the way it should. The object distorted it, not in a circular way like a lens, but in fragmented, scattered waves. Light scattered in spirals, almost like a whirlpool made of photons. That effect doesn't match any known gravitational behavior. The only possible explanation, it was interacting with space itself, not just matter or energy, but the geometry of the vacuum. It doesn't behave like an object, it behaves like a process, Dr. Tasha Bloom remarked during the ESAJWST briefing. By now, the web team knew this wasn't just a distant object. It was an active presence, changing, warping, and disobeying the rules of motion and light. But things were only getting stranger. Because while it didn't act like anything in our universe, it still moved, slowly but unmistakably. And where it was going next, no one could predict. Strange movement through space. One of the strangest things about this object wasn't just what it looked like, it was how it moved. Most objects in space follow predictable paths. Planets orbit stars, moons orbit planets. Even comets and asteroids fall along curves drawn by gravity. But this anomaly moved without a curve. It drifted in a straight, slow line, like it was sliding across space, not falling through it. Webb's data showed that the object moved consistently, not fast, but purposefully. It didn't loop, tumble, or spin. There were no signs of propulsion, and it wasn't being pulled by anything nearby. That's not how space works. Nothing just drifts without cause. If an object moves without gravity or thrust, it's not really moving in our terms, said Dr. Alan Reyes, an orbital mechanics expert. It's choosing a direction. That's what shook the scientific teams. It moved like it had a path, not like it was caught in one. Webb kept his focus locked on the object for several days. Over that time, the object's trajectory remained straight and stable. It passed behind stars, through gas fields, and across cosmic microwave background radiation, but didn't interact with any of them in normal ways. It cast no shadow. It created no wake. Its motion wasn't orbital. It was inertial, but intentional. And when researchers plotted its path backward, they found no source. It didn't come from anywhere. It just began. Even more unsettling, its orientation seemed to change slightly, like it was correcting its path. It wasn't moving toward any gravitational target. It wasn't heading for a star or a black hole. It was just drifting, quietly, through nothing. The object didn't emit any energy as it moved, and yet everything around it showed signs of light distortion and ripple effects in space. It was like watching a submarine in the ocean. No engine sounds, but a trail through the waves. Movement without force. That's the moment we realize. This thing isn't natural, said Dr. Min Jae Oh, web mission data analyst. Objects move because something pushes them or pulls them, but this one moved without either. It charted its own path, untouched by the cosmos around it. As astronomers stared at the motion, another question formed. What's inside this object? What kind of material or energy or intelligence could create something that moves through space, like it knows exactly where it's going? A web of light and shadow. As the James Webb Telescope continued to track the object, another unsettling detail emerged. Not just how it moved, but what surrounded it. At first glance, it appeared to be nothing more than a black void. But when the infrared images were stacked and enhanced, a delicate outline began to shimmer around its edges. The structure wasn't solid or glowing, but it was defined, like a web made of dim, pulsing threads of light. It looked artificial, almost designed, yet without symmetry or a clear pattern. The threads of this corona weren't behaving like awe or dust. Normally, interstellar material near an object, especially the one in motion, would swirl, stretch, or disperse. Instead, these filaments flickered in place. They pulsed in soft, rhythmic patterns, expanding and contracting like a heartbeat. The web-like energy halo didn't trail behind the object. It stayed with it, 
as if locked to its surface. Researchers described it as a skin of light. It wasn't reflecting, it was reacting, as if space itself was being wrapped or folded. More alarming were the refraction patterns in the starlight around it. Starlight passing near the object didn't simply bend like it would near a gravitational mass. It fragmented, scattering into irregular, swirling spirals. These spirals were unique, unlike gravitational lensing seen in black holes or neutron stars. They formed asymmetric whirlpools that blinked in and out. Webb's instruments couldn't model the light behavior using Einstein's equations. The only conclusion? The object was manipulating space, not through gravity, but through geometry itself. Then came the realization it wasn't just the object creating the distortion, the space within the object was distorted too, like a lens inside a lens. This wasn't an empty shell, it was a shell holding a cavity of warped space-time. It didn't just look hollow, it might be functionally empty, except for whatever physics it was using to twist the cosmos. We're looking at a moving shadow, but the light it casts doesn't make sense, said Dr. Isa Merrick of the Max Planck Institute. It's not just absorbing light, it's reprogramming how light behaves, said web team physicist Dr. Helen Yu. Whatever this object was, it wasn't just dark, it was layered. A skin of pulsing light, a void inside, and an impossible edge that bent space in ways no natural object could. But the mystery deepened further when Webb began detecting something else, something even more bizarre. The object wasn't just moving, it was sending out signals, and not the kind we've ever seen before. Unnatural signals detected. Shortly after Webb locked its focus on the drifting object, something strange began happening to its sensors. At first, the telescope's fine guidance systems reported minute oscillations, so small they were thought to be calibration issues. But after repeated checks, the cause was narrowed down to pulses, subtle but regular nudges in the structure of space-time itself. The object wasn't just drifting, it was emitting waves though not in any electromagnetic form we understood. These weren't radio pulses. They weren't gravitational waves. They were something stranger. Space-time ripples, almost like a heartbeat, gently pressing outwards. Webb's internal gyroscopes picked them up first, and then its high-resolution time series data confirmed it. Every 11.2 seconds, a pulse, then a pause, then another. The intensity never changed, but the structure of the pulse did. It wasn't just a beat, it was information. We realized we weren't just looking at a moving object, said Dr. Erica Bell. We were listening to it. Mathematicians joined the team. Within days, they discovered something astonishing. The intervals between the pulses followed prime number patterns. The decay curves and echo spikes showed fractal repetition. These weren't just signals, they were systems, but there was no message, no Morse code, no modulation like language, just rhythm and math. Some saw it as natural, perhaps geological or quantum. Others saw something else, a system so perfect, it bordered on intentional design. What made this even more compelling was what wasn't happening. The object didn't emit any heat, any radiation, or any traditional signal detectable by radio telescopes. It was invisible to standard instruments. If not for Webb's precision in the infrared and its ability to measure positional fluctuations, this thing could have passed unnoticed. The signal wasn't loud. It wasn't screaming to be found. It was simply pulsing, quietly, patiently, mathematically. The question scientists began to ask was simple and chilling. Is it aware? There was no obvious message, no language, no code, but the structure of the pulses, balanced, precise, and unchanging, looked more like monitoring than broadcasting. A silent observer, perhaps, or worse, a machine listening back. This doesn't feel like a beacon, said Dr. Anil Chowdhury from the Web Communications Analysis Group. It feels like a stethoscope, and we're the patient. Nature doesn't use prime numbers for rhythm, intelligence does. Dr. Sylvia Reyes, SETI collaborator. It was no longer just a strange object moving through space. It was now a system, reacting, pulsing, almost calculating. But if the signals meant something, who or what were they for? And if the object was more than natural, what did that make it? 
The idea that began as fringe theory was now entering the mainstream. This thing might have been built. Could it be alive or built? As Webb's data poured in and teams across the globe ran simulations, one conclusion started to take shape. This object wasn't acting like something made by nature. It wasn't random, it wasn't decaying, and it wasn't simple. Its movements, pulses, and structure seemed too precise. Every reaction it had to its environment felt tuned, like an algorithm running on a program we couldn't see. It wasn't flying or spinning, it was adjusting, slowly, gently, like it was aware of its surroundings. This led researchers to a bold question. Could the object be alive? Not in the way we understand biology, no cells, no carbon, no metabolism, but in the sense of a system responding to stimuli. Some astrobiologists propose the idea of a computational organism, a structure that behaves more like an evolving code base than a living creature, one that's not built with tissue, but with information woven into geometry. It doesn't grow. It evolves by refining itself over millennia. The structure could be its body, the pulses, its thoughts. Then came the even more radical idea. What if it was built? The symmetry, the precision, the fixed location, and the mathematical pulses all hinted at design. It didn't have the messiness of nature. There were no random energy surges, no fragmenting trails, no signs of wear. The object looked like it had been optimized. Perfect energy balance, no radiation waste, no drifting debris. If it were artificial, it wasn't just advanced. It was impossibly advanced. The kind of creation that would take not thousands, but millions, perhaps billions of years of technological development. This is either the most natural thing we've never seen or the most unnatural thing that's ever seen us. Dr. Felix Umarov, theoretical physicist. If this object was designed by nature or intelligence, then it had a purpose. And the way it behaves suggests that purpose is still unfolding. But another question now haunted astronomers. Where had it been all this time? This wasn't a recent arrival, and it hadn't suddenly appeared. So how long has it been watching us? Or worse, what has it been waiting for? Hidden for decades. As scientists poured over the new data, someone had the idea to look back. Not forward, backward. The Webb telescope was new, but our eyes on the universe go back decades. Hubble, Spitzer, Wise, and even ground-based observatories have been collecting deep field data for years. Maybe, just maybe, this object had shown up before, and no one had noticed. What they found was startling. The object had been there all along, faint, blurry, and drowned in cosmic noise. But there, in old data, the object appeared as a faint shadow, always in the same part of the sky, too dim to be noticed by earlier instruments, too quiet to stand out from the background. But with Webb's precision, it popped into clarity. This meant it hadn't arrived suddenly. It hadn't emerged from deep space. It had been stationary, perfectly still, for decades, maybe longer. Only now had we developed the tools to see it. It's not new, we are said data analyst Dr. Lyon Corvus. This discovery raised chilling implications. If it was truly stationary, it wasn't orbiting anything. It wasn't drifting. It had been parked, like a buoy floating in the middle of a cosmic ocean. Had it always been there? Has it seen us? Or worse, had it been waiting for us to evolve just enough to detect it? A few theorists floated the idea of a threshold object, something designed to remain hidden until a civilization reached a certain technological maturity. Webb may have tripped that switch. Whatever this object is, natural, built, or beyond anything we understand, it's changed the way we look at space. And it's only the beginning. If you're as intrigued as we are, hit like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. The universe just got a lot more mysterious.